I really don't know how people call someone best friend. Then you cannot just keep certain secrets. You cannot just keep people certain life out of your relationship or out of your marriage. Or <laughs> it's so near. I'm supposed to show you this. Okay. Just like I said. Hello. So guys, we have to go like outside to eat because inside is um, full. According to the new coronavirus rules. So there's nobody in the garden and this is where we're going to be spending our time today. I need to remove this so people can hear me clearly, please. Yeah. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl again, Buma Edith Mera. And I'm back with another video. I know most of you have missed me. Yeah, because it's been like a week and maybe a few days I haven't posted on YouTube. Um, I've been quite busy trying to make money like you know so today I'm just going to be talking about um, your boyfriend is mm -hmm. not my best friend mm -mm. well how do we put it your boyfriend is not my best friend or mm. if I share secrets with you as a friend mm. it shouldn't be your boyfriend's issue it shouldn't be what you mm. used to discuss with your boyfriend on the bed and if you're also married if I share a secret with you too as uh, my friend it shouldn't be what you used to discuss with your husband because boyfriends come and go sometimes but best friends if you call someone a best friend sometimes best friends last longer yeah imagine you have like um six boyfriends or you've had like six exes mm -hmm. and as my best friend i've told you um something really very very crucial something really very secret about my life or something really very important about my life i really want to share with just you and you actually discuss this with your first boyfriend now you guys break up he goes you discuss with your second boyfriend mm -hmm. you guys break up he goes you discuss mm -hmm. with your third boyfriend mm -hmm. have you ever stood to imagine how many people or how many of these guys have my information or have things or or, or sort of like a secret the private issues about me that you have told them so that's what we'll be talking about today generally so i have to just like explain what i mean by your boyfriend is not my best friend so mm. whatever i share with you shouldn't be discussed with you keep it top secret cia secret Whoa. Mm -hmm. it's not that i say oh my friend i'm having itches <laughs> two seconds i come to visit you and your bobo your husband is like you know you know no, let me even go. Let me even go straight to the point. Friend, let me even go straight to the point. He tells point. him that uh, no, follow that girl. Ha! They get the itches. <laughs> <laughs> let me even go straight to the point, guys. 
imagine your imagine your um girlfriend tells you like um angela or stella or whatever your name is and she says um my house that's leococcus and i've been treating it for a while it's been kind of hard for you to go i've had it over the years what do i do and she confides in you as a best friend yeah. because i wouldn't want to think any best friend any legit best friend who want to discuss some kind of personal issues or hygiene issues with her boyfriend or even her husband if she was married if you actually respect friendship now you go now and you tell your your boyfriend ah my friend or maybe in your mushy mushy time on the bed you're looking for what to discuss you're looking for you feel like your boyfriend is also your best friend so you should know about your other best friend you know i don't know how most girls function then you go and discuss that kind of thing with your boyfriend and say, ah, this is my friend has staff, Lokoku, so she's been trying to treat it for long, or syphilis, or whatever this disease is, she's been trying to treat it for long, down there is oozing, you know, just things, general hygiene stuff that friends might just discuss. Then you discuss with this guy, then tomorrow you break up with this guy, maybe the relationship lasts for like five months. He sees somebody else trying to date this particular girl. In his mind, he's like, no, 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 I can't let this boy date this girl because this girl has this kind of disease. So, if you understand where I'm coming from, every boy you have broken up with now has her details. Everybody you have left or every relation that has ended, even in marriage, you might divorce. Your friend might confide you and tell you, I've got HIV, please keep it secret. Then you tell your husband, I'm not even going to, only boyfriend, then you tell your husband this. Tomorrow you divorce your husband. Your husband can never see that girl as someone that doesn't have HIV again. Ah. Forever. That information you have dished out from your from your permanent. from your mouth is it permanent. It cannot be erased. Ah. So I I really don't know how people call someone best friend. Then you cannot just keep certain secrets. You cannot just keep people's certain life out of your relationship or out of your marriage or out of your mouth. If someone confides in you to tell you something about them, it's because they needed to hear from other people. They needed. They didn't want someone to die. They opinion. needed to hear somebody else's opinion about certain things. They didn't want to die alone. Like, let them know that at least, let my friend know at least, or share in this particular pain or this thing I'm passing through. Then you go up to your boyfriend and you're looking for things to discuss. Then the next thing you're talking about, someone you call your best friend, then you are not my, for me, you are not my best friend. Even I in marriage. I know some people will say, um, best friend still there. Uh, best friend, so, uh, I know you have, um, there will be a particular person, it must not necessarily be your best friend. Maybe some, some of you don't like to target best friend. So it can be your close friend, whoever it is, even a stranger. There are some things like me, there are some things you share with me, I can't share with someone else. I will use the word, I'm, I'm embarrassed on your behalf. You share a secret with me and I, and I... And I feel sad for you. I will assume that you are not happy too. And I won't want to share that with someone yeah, else. You get. I will try to put myself. If you don't have to tell me, I beg, don't tell anybody. Or please, don't, don't say that. Or please, don't tell Amaka. No, you don't. You don't have to. There are things you say to me that I I feel obliged not to say it to someone else because it's 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 it's. it's it's wrong. It's all shades of wrong. Sometimes there are people naturally. They like they don't know how to hold back secret. They just like to open up. Say everything they've heard. Say it and say it and say it. You, you don't you don't need to use that against them because you're using it against them by telling someone else because they can be mocked by that other person. Think about it. It's Sometimes even for your own mental health, in your marriage or in your relationship, it's not everything your partner must know At it's all. not everything about your past your partner should know mm -hmm. it's not even about your past your boyfriend should know mm -hmm. because sometimes they use this thing against you like i have a friend um she had um she had um like uh um a gay um cousin like um like called her cousin was was bisexual mm -hmm. okay. you understand yes, so she and her husband were just talking and she told her husband ah this uh, my cousin, you know, she actually does girls too. Like she is bi. I don't know the word to use for it. Or she's a lesbian. You understand? She actually is um, straight. Like at least straight or. Okay. What will I use? Which word will I use? Bisexual. She bi. She's bisexual. Mm -hmm. So she told her husband in confidence, like, ah, this my cousin has been battling with it. You know, in Africa here, it's kind of an abomination. Abominable. For you to tell people you're gay or for you to tell people you're, you're you're attracted to the same sex so she told her husband this 
My dear, there was one time they were having issues. You know, your husband brought up this and said they're insulting her like, I beg you that in your family, you guys are all um, gay, you guys are all bisexual, you guys are all this. She was crying, she called that was crying. I was like, why would you even go and discuss your cousin's sexuality ah. with your husband? You are going too far. If your cousin has not been able to come out and own up to her own sexuality, she's just confiding in you to tell you like, see yo, I'm bi yo. I'm, I, 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 I am attracted to the same sex and this, she just needed that, um, like, let me see, I have somebody oh, to confide yeah. in. Then you go and discuss that with your husband. What were you expecting? They were having issues and the man was shouting all over the place. That's why he, or all of you in your family, you people are, you are crazy. Uh, you have a, a bisexual, you have a, 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 a people that are attracted to the same sex in your family, you know. You know, things like that, so they're insulting her with this thing. So, if somebody confides in you, I have no and tells you ah! and tells you stuff that are actually <laughs> private or stuff that are secret yeah or stuff that relate to their health and maybe or they don't want the that next are secret you know and they don't want the next year to hear please mm, please please try and keep it to yourself conceal it even if even if you're not the type that keeps information Hold you just it. have to for that person's mental health you just have to because if you have had like six exes and you've told all your exes that your friend got HIV, I have to use HIV because like so that you guys understand the gravity of what I'm trying to say. And you've told six of your exes Any that your friend has HIV. That you know that you know people what, stigmatize. You know what you've for. implanted in mm -hmm. their heads. Sometimes relationships actually do come and go. But some friendships actually last longer than even relationships. So we should actually be careful what we what we discuss with our partner. We should actually let there be limits to what we want to discuss even when we're in love. And most women, when they're in love, they tend to expose a lot of things about their family, yeah. about their friends, about... Yeah. They use their friends and uh, people and family to do love mm -hmm. and boyfriend and mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. But it's not good. If you're the type of person, if you're found in that kind of category, please, 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 please look for the other things. Play games with your your spouse. Yeah. What happens when there's no more friend to talk about? What happens when there's no more family member to discuss? When you discuss uh, uncle, there, there was you discuss uncle, that, uncle that, um, you discuss uncle someone, Chidi, you wait, discuss... wait, wait. There was an incident that someone said something about her friend, and when she broke up with the guy, the guy told her friend. Mm -hmm. They met, yeah, they met in Genesis Cinema, Potter Court, and he was like, the friend was like, ah, you don't let my friend down, uh -uh. you just, this thing you did is not good, though, ah, Charles, and the guy was like, whose friend? That one, is she your friend? First way, say, you, you get body or done, now your friend. Eh? Just imagine. You know what? That will not be your friend. That guess if I tell That's you. That's what I was actually just saying that sometimes about you. sometimes it backfires. Hmm. Sometimes it backfires. it backfires. It backfires. And if you and your ex have it hot, like mm. Mm, Benita. Mm? You feel like you're doing love with your partner, or you feel like you're you're telling your partner everything, it backfires. Imagine you telling your friend something about your best friend and two of you break up. The boy is going straight to tell her that yeah, your yeah, friend so, is not your friend. Yeah, so she's not your best friend. Hmm. So if you're this time that fall into this category, please do stop it. It's very wrong and, and put very a bad. stop to it, please. So guys, sake of God. And I don't want to make this video too long. And my sanity. Mm, I don't want to make it too long. I just miss everybody here. Yeah, I miss And for those of you who are just talking by on my channel for the first time, please do me well to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> you're a drama queen. <laughs> I'm on Twitter. For those of you who are stopping by, <laughs> please remember to hit the subscribe button, turn on the not notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. And for the returning subscribers, hmm, come and share me by me. You guys are all shades of awesome. Yep. Thank you all for stopping by on my channel every other day. I really do appreciate. Bye. That's all for her. Mm. My cue. That is not correct. Bye, guys. <laughs>